Hi guys, hope you're all good. Christopher here. Today we'll be looking at bubble sort in Java. So we'll be writing a program to sort numbers using Java in ascending and descending order. So we'll have an array that we'll be working with. This array will not be sorted and we'll be writing a program to sort this array using bubble sort. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. With your IDE open, create a project that you're going to work with. As you can see, I've already created the project that I'm going to work with and it is called bubble sort. And I have a class created already also and it is called sorting. Inside this class, I have the main method also created already. Before I start writing the code, a few things to note out here. First, I'll have a method outside the main method to do the sorting of the array and after that, the main method will do the calling of that method to print out the sorted array. Another thing to note out here is that we'll do the sorting of the array in ascending and descending order. So we'll start with ascending, then afterwards we'll do the descending order. So we start. So inside the main method, I'm going to need an array of int types. So I'm going to say int num and to initialize it, I'm going to need 10 integers so i already have 10 integers somewhere here i'm just going to copy and paste here instead of writing again then after this to show to say that there's no magic that happens when sorting an array like this one using bubble sort i'm going to print this array the way it is then afterwards we'll print it when it is sorted to print it i'll first need a statement to say this is an array before sorting so i'm going to say it's this 10 dot out dot print ln and here we're going to say array array before sorting and to print out this array i'm going to need a loop so in this tutorial i'm going to use a for loop so i'm going to say for i is equals to zero i should be less than num dot length this is a method which determines the length of the array so here it says i should be less than the length of the array and each time the loop is looping i should be incremented and inside here i'm going to need a print statement sys system dot out dot print f percentage d comma and the numbers that are going to be printed are going to come from num at index i. After printing out the array before sorting it, down here I'm going to print the sorted array. So I'm going to first print the statement saying this is the array after sorting in ascending order. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it down here as a statement to just say this is the array after after sorting in ascending order and to print this sorted array in ascending order i'm going to make a system call to the method which is going to do the sorting of this array but we haven't declared or we haven't written this method which does the sorting so we we'll have an error indicating to say we don't have this method declared so i'm going to say sort array and inside this method i'm going to pass in the array as an argument now and outside the main method we're going to have this method declared so i'm going to come down here and say private static static void and the name is sort array taking in a parameter of int type an array um, inside this method i'm going to need a temp variable this temp variable is going to help us to store a number for temporal purposes when swapping two variables around so i'm going to say int temp and this is where now the bubble sort will start from so i'm going to need nested loops to do the bubble sort so again i'm going to use for loops so i'm going to say for int i is equals to zero i is less than num dot length 
and each time the loop is looping i should be incremented inside this for loop i'm going to have another for loop again here so i'm going to say for int j is equals to i plus one and j should be less than num dot length each time the loop is looping j should also be incremented and inside this for loop the inner one i'm going to have an if statement to compare each adjacent pair of numbers in the array which is this one here and swap them if the number which is at index i which is the first number is bigger than the number which is at index j which is the number after the the one which is at index i so let's say if the number which is at index i is 10 and the number which is at index j is 2 meaning 10 will get the index where 2 is and 2 will get the index where 10 was and this process will be repeated for all the adjacent pairs in the array until they are done since this is ascending order all the smaller numbers will be pushed to the left side while the bigger numbers will be pushed to the right side so i'm going to say if num at index i is greater than num at index j then the temp variable is going to get the number at num at index i straight in there and after that at index i i'm going to put the number at index j num at index j after that at index j i'm going to put the number which is in the temp variable now so temp like this i've swapped the numbers and this is going to sort the numbers in ascending order using bubble sort then outside the inner loop but within the outer loop i'm going to put a statement to print out the sorted array in ascending order so i'm going to say system.out dot print f percent hd and the numbers to be printed will be coming from num at index i this is it we're done writing the code sorting the array in ascending order using bubble sort so we're going to run the program and see the output but before we run the program i'm just going to add some line break here okay let me run the program and as you can see down here we have the array before sort and we have the array the way it was before sorting it and down here we have array after sorting it in ascending order as we can see we have one two three four up to ten so we have the numbers sorted in ascending order so to sort numbers in descending order i'm just going to make a few amendments here so i'll start from here array after sorting in ascending order so i'm just going to change this one to descending order descending order then inside the method which does the sorting of the array this is where we're going to make the chain that is going to sort the array in descending order so we have the nested loops and inside the nested loops we have the if statement which does the swapping of variables to sort out the array so the if statement here it is what determine whether the numbers will be sorted in ascending order or descending order so this sign here the greater than sign is is what determines whether the numbers will be sorted in ascending order or descending order here we were pushing the greater numbers to the right while the smaller numbers were being pushed to the left so i'm going to just change this sign to less than so that we push the greater numbers to the left and the less numbers to the right to sort out the number in descending order so i'm just going to run the program so that we see to say this change for real will bring the numbers being sorted in ascending order perfect as you can see again we have the array before sort and we have the numbers the way they were declared in the array before sorting it and down here we have array after sorting descending order and as we can see we have our array being printed in descending order after it has been sorted so there's no magic here that happens when sorting numbers in an array using bubble sort the whole logic is found in the method which sorts the array here so this is how you write a program to sort numbers in ascending and descending order using bubble sort thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment and share with your friends thank you so much till next time bye bye